फ्राइडे स्केड्यूल हजर को थियो तर सरले जन्डिस को पहिला को क्लासमै भनि सक्नु भएको थियो फ्राइडे म लिन्छु भनेर ओके देन फाइन ओके इट्स क्लियर देयर ओके मे बी अदरवाइज अकॉर्डिंग टु द के स्केड्यूल यू विल बी वेटिंग फॉर मी नो एनीवे दैट्स क्लियर नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन ओके नाउ रिमेनिंग वी हैव दीज आर द व्हाट डिफ्थेरिया प्रोटोसिस ओके व्हाट इज डिफ्थेरिया नेपाल के भन्छ त This is bacterial. Okay, bacteria. Now we are coming to the bacterial infection. Did you hear him? That's a. That's a word. Hmm. Anyone? Maybe just a dad or anyone else. Anyone? No. I got the rope. Did you hear that? It's like a I got the rope. And pertussis. Who was the first pertussis? Anyone? Hello. लहरे खोकी सुने से क्या हेलो कैन यू हियर मी और नॉट नो बडी रेस्पोंडिंग यस सर लहरे खोकी था तेन प्रोटोसिस ओके लहरे खोकी ओके समटाइम्स मैं आ पेशेंट में कंप्लेन में लहरे खोकी है इफ यू डोंट नो द प्रोटोसिस द पेशेंट वोंट टेल यू देन आई प्रोटोसिस हां Okay. This area, that is a very good area. Okay, I will start. Go one by one. Okay, by the end, complete the end by the end. Okay, this is as usual. You know the outline of the topic. So, introduction. This area is a Greek word. So, this area is a pair of. It's a literal meaning. It's a leathery. Okay, scrolls and white gray stripe. We see and then tonsil. We can see. Which is an okay and acute life threatening because upper respiratory most of the time is okay upper respiratory tract illness other part of it okay because remember but upper respiratory most of the time then about ninety percent of the time so caused by you know that is a coronary bacteria diphtheria how they are clinical you know characterized by little sore throat low grade fever not very high and then if you look at them clinically finding you have adherent Membrane, which is a pseudo membrane, that cannot be dislodged. If it dislodges, right, it will be bleeding. Okay, bleeds. So on the tonsil, you can see, or maybe pharynx or nasal cavity. These are, are mostly you can see. So now this is mild form does exist. Okay, now it is can be restricted to your skin. My matter, but it's not in the skin, but on the skin. So now there is water. Uncommon consequence of like likes, which is further complicated by something uncommon, but it's ten to fifty percent. Yes. peripheral nodes distance complications like myocarditis due to related to toxin nodes peripheral neuropathy can occur this in brief introduction about the this theory so looking at your epidemiology when is usually this in age of 15 is usually fatal and near 10% high high fatality rate but nowadays we have a wide spread use of vaccine has come down you know but before that it was in So <clears throat> high rate of mortality. So recovery tends to be this disease and slow and better who to survive. Instead, it's very low now. You will have we have schedule of immunizations and I can what is produced of immunization is coming brought down in the control. Okay. So now the modern country has a modernized city that is very involved skin. The most common type infection this day we. Just limited to the skin only. It's not in the throat, the inside or something. The skin, okay. Really associated with systemic manifestation related to the toxin. This is the toxin related disease. But nowadays we have very really, few cases. But really, we can we see here in the government. Yeah, two two three years ago somewhere it has broke one or two cases, which registered in 
came to, I think, teaching hospital. Okay, now epidemiological, again, this is a break. Outbreaks, how do you mean? Outbreaks are through, very rare now. This still occurs more right? actually. So rare is in your sense, sporadically, it's not in an epidemic, but sporadically, even in developed nations. Are. So USSR, I believe, this is not a, now the Russian, it's a 2000, since 2000, 19, 1990 moment, it's 2000 cases registered. This outbreak is there still. In 1990, Commonwealth countries like the 22 lakhs cases have been found okay, with 5,000 deaths. So it's, there is, okay, you need to very talk about immunization is very important when it shows. So diphtheria, epidemiology, okay. So this bacteria, usually human not a carrier, okay, human not a carrier, it's a reservoir, who, who we are, no? human carriers, upper respiratory tract, like mucosal, okay, mucosal membrane, I've mentioned about it sometimes skin and even or usually asymptomatic type patient. Sometimes this patient will have a you know, carrier, so an asymptomatic carrier like the three to five percent, which is quite dangerous, likely to transmit unknowing, okay? Unnoticed. So which is going to be dangerous in a point of epidemiology point of view, okay? So transmission usually of course <coughs> cough you have. Or maybe in a respiratory tract, you know, so use respiratory aerosols. Sometimes con 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 if you come contact with any skin lesions, so these are the way of transmission. When usually it takes place in the most of the time in mean, winter and the spring, a temporal pattern to look at them, the time. Once you the disease, huh, you are contracted, it leaves communicability, okay, Communi communicability also, and it is a contagious period up to several years. Several weeks, two to four weeks, one who is not taking antibiotics. If you are taking antibiotics, maybe it comes down a bit, shorter duration. So, this bacteria remains viable up to six months in your formite, you know, households, or things are also formite and a dust. I don't know what it is, right? And infected food, food handlers or the milk, they can survive for the long, longer duration. So, that's what cautious. And this is how the get transmitted to you. So this is about the okay, epidemiologic and scenario about the incidence also. So looking at the causative agent, you know that is from your microbiology that is caused by coronavirus, diphtheria, there are some biotypes like metis, okay, intermediates, gravies, belfanti. Okay, there are four different biotypes. It's coronavirus, corona diphtheria is a causative agent, which is a grand no, microbiome, it's an aerobic gram positive mentally, which is usually in, it's not a drum, it's a club shape, it, okay? Club shape it. You can see in the area up here, you know, club shape it. You know, sometimes you can confuse with it. Drum is taken, you know, that is what? Clostridia diphtheria, that is another, okay? Drum, this is the club shape, gadda, okay? Like one edge is like it's swollen up. Mm, uh, it can be grown, okay? Microbiome, you know, that is cystine. Chill right, agar is very. Okay, this is the, the media where you use to grow. How did you look? Gray, black, colon, okay? So now, regarding the toxin, okay? Toxin is a produ production, uh, they produce toxin with all the bacteria, diphtheria bacteria does not produce, and only those carrying, okay? Bacterial feeds infected with them, which carrying the gene, like the tox gene, especially, tox gene, all the diphtheria. No, normal for it could be there, but those are having, okay? Infected by virus, again, the virus bacteriophage is carrying the gene, toxin, toxins. Okay, you must. So, this, those who carry it, produces the toxin. Otherwise, it could be just normal diphtheria. So, that is, that's why you, you need to, you know, microbiology, once maybe, must distinguish by the normal diphtheroid with elic test. We must remember, okay, elic test, which is the immune protecting or PC. You know, this is normal type of sort of. Diphtheroid, or it is containing, producing a toxin, okay, which contains a toxin, toxin, not all the bacteria. So this is what does it look, you know, from the microbiology, I'm stain. It's a club shape, but it's not, it looks, it is, here is a club shape, you know, although the drum is taken, is at both sides, you know, that's another room. That is close to it, you confused. So now, what are the pathogens? How the disease process is in Of course, this is a portal. That's how your bacteria get through your body, through so your respiratory tract. 
Okay. And then once again, the release of the toxins very important, responsible for that, or the local as well as systemic manifestation of the clinical manifestations depends on the year. All this toxin, what which bacteria produces. Now the diphtheria toxin consists of okay, it produces so can you from your body and it produces in your body, okay, respiratory tract. It produces the what toxin and which usually are talking about a little bit of the toxin. Toxin is in a single protein, it's a polypeptide, is any not is a protein, you know. And usually it's broken down into okay, fertilizing cells and then into reactions to yielding to fragment one and that's sort of two and two types of component. a fragment will be there, A and D. So which are held together by by sulfate bone. Now here the role of an A prevents an action. B will recognize the subunit, okay, the whole cell basically allows to enter this particular. Another A is now it's getting into your cell. It, it is the one to do now. What happens? Undergoes the protein synthesis blocking. Again, you know that is an elongation factor. You must be knowing that elongation factor two and the process of them with protein synthesis. Protein synthesis. Okay? ADP arrival and take with and then elongation factor two. Okay, that is one. It is deactivated. So this with it and E activity. You know from the Biochemistry or protein synthesis that are EF elongation factor two, which is very essential to from then moving the tRNA from your A side to P side. And then you know, there's an mRNA sites too, and peptide sites, which will not jump on it, ribosomes and on the, you know, translation like doing. So, this is how the your process will be terminated, and the phase the cell will die in the process, die in the and the next process. So if you recognize some of the high dose of vitamin D, if given ADP revivalization can be reversed from some right? So but and if you're sure then and you can institute that vitamin three as a role, which is okay. So this is how the toxin is okay, damaging your cell. So pathology, when it's what you look, you're gonna hear looking at in your skin, within a one week when you offer it, you look at see and you see what will is the problem of Organism or bacteria is there. If it is says our cells are dry, okay, favoring and leukocytosis. So this gives the pictures of the what? Leathery, gray, and the brown pseudomembranes. If you try to dislodge it, it just bleeds on, okay? Bleeds on, dislodge, not slough off. So that's the pseudomembrane. usually it comes out, no? It just, so it just did see your this structure, so it bleeds. So, and then if you look at it, this is what pathology. Local effect like the local the paratype and palatal paralysis because you could be a systemic, that's we not which is pathology. With this complication at all. Generally, you see the what we say. Sorry. If they listen, this is on a white membrane. Okay. So we're talking about system in later on, localness. So how patient will present to you? That's of course, every infection is the fight between you and me, like you and micro world, like the site, of course, where it is now, human, your immunity versus and the toxin, okay? Okay, this here, the toxin is immediate. So, so toxin, okay, that is a host and spread of the toxin, how far it has gone, how much toxin, this is in. So incubation tends to be the, once you have the bacteria, five, three, five days, or 10 days, something maximum of the two to five days in an average. Okay. So within the, they will have protein with a low grade of fever, maybe some sore throat, maybe a little bit of, okay, mucus management can be some. May, actually, it involves any virtually all mucus membranes. So from the knees, no, you see, okay, I can say that. Okay, even eyes, ears, or maybe then a volume denial. So these are mucus membranes virtually again, okay, but most of the time we're talking about the kayakim of the exam. Uh, 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 Okay, croaking voice like that. They are good as R, R, and then they are good Okay, now the sound. Usually, so my, and then there was fatigue like then it's malaria, it's off its head, discomfort, and then short, very little sore throat, and then clinical now depends on which part of this involved. Like, for example, your nasal membrane, okay, for example, anterior nasal on the again, in the clinical front. Only involved there, maybe there with that. Zero sanguineous discharge of your upper or unilateral, or sorry, upper end, uni or bilateral. There will be some 
discharging main counter. Okay, look at that. It's a main receipt. Now he's just false area, a little bit. I mean, it's in a false area. I'm not trying to fall back. So, okay, it's involved. Then maybe there's some disagreement. Okay. 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 Our side, never can never call it. Wants to join the meeting. Can I enter? SP was not allowed to join this. Side. So bilateral. Okay, this is and then false shell. You have the dysphagia or muffled voice. Hmm? Now this is more than ninety percent. That is pharyngeal and then pharyngeal and tonsil. Okay, and this is most of the time you can see, show you that uh, you know open your mouth. We can see the throat then. So throat is the main part. Okay, and okay, this is one. Yeah. Let's be going going down through the larynx. Okay, you know, larynx is right here. You would have croupy voice. You know, uh, uh, cough and. Uh, uh. Okay, then maybe stride uh, like this. It's a clinical line. Now, cuteness. Okay, non-progressive, non-healing sort of culture. You move usually in the lower extremities. You can encounter. So ocular, you can see in a conjunctivitis, like the ear. Maybe the on examination, the pleural discharges. Maybe. Okay. So genital area menu. Okay, it's a rare disease, but both the genitis and present is the same. Okay. Computer hang. Sorry, my computer is not Excuse me, my computer is hanging on. So not moving down quick. Slide. Slide this. Yeah. So we'll little bit talk about this one. Syringeal and then tonsillar. Okay. Insidious onset. Okay, this one is insidious onset. And the exudate, okay, the exudate is spread within the two, three days, and you can see it on it stays, and then may form the adherent, okay, this is adherent membrane on the examiner, okay. Membrane may be, okay, cause the respiratory obstructions, okay, it's very the deteriorate. Pseudo membrane, okay, that's the pseudo membrane, I already mentioned about this, okay, coagulum of favorite and bacteria and inflammatory cells, usually that's no limit, okay. Fever, usually not that high, but patient appears toxic, that's the quite, okay. You are not running off the very high grade fever, but the patient looks at toxic. And they may complain, of, of course, there's a little bit of hand, sore throat, pineal, tonsillar. So, this is how does the patient look like in a 10 year boy with severe diphtheria, you look at like the conjunctivitis, pharyngeal, if you look at the membrane, I'll show the me membrane up. Okay, and neck is another one to say bull neck. And the neck, is, how does it look? Bull, then a bull. Because of the toxin, maybe. Severe form, then if you can counter, okay, that word. Actually, this bone next due to this one lymphonode patchy, okay, cervical lymphonode due to it. it looks like the bull neck. Sometimes this patient may also have okay, severe myocarditis. On this case, so we just okay, it's contraindicated. All the vaccines and it it's all. So this is what is look at which we examine throat exam when you can see like this. Gray type, leathery type, scroll inside here and then tonsil must exist. Okay, fossil are not when well, not fossil area and then tonsil is so this membrane, if you try to dislodge okay, this gray leathery type of if you just try to end uh, dislodge what will happen, it will bleed. So that's called pseudo membrane. So we have the now, if you're going down down to your lower respiratory fragment, pharynx and then, okay, your trachea or this, like larynx and so it's clinical, like you could have croupy, okay, which is like mm, change in voice, okay, and then you could have strider, like your cough will be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Hmm? it sounds different, isn't it? It's like the larynx, like, rrr, rrr. or maybe the strider. Rrr. Okay, this could sound on the examination. So you have got to pay attention on this clinical sciences. 
So how is the diagnosis nowadays? Is it a high degree of suspicion very important? So you have to take the epidemiological point of view. Okay, now, of course, you take the news. You say something on the in your throat, you have the culture, swab, throat, you know, within eight hours, it is quite a bit, eight hours. Rapid immunofluorescent, okay, immunofluorescent, and then crimes can be ended, but which is not reliable one, but with culture and swab, it's exponent of scent within eight hours, okay, within eight hours. So this is some guidelines and how you can kind of diagnose it's in the high degree of suspicion that we just give the kids. I mean, of course, this is a, within eight hours, culture and scent, definitely diff diphtheria, okay, this center for CDC, okay, so with a prevention based on the both its diagnosis. Based on, of course, it's, uh, it's the motor criteria and on clinical. Clinical, you see, on you know, upper respiratory illness and some sore throats, I can say, or sore throat. Not a very high grade fever, not really it goes on one and three, but it's usually that's you know, low grade of fever. And even looking at it, you know, see an adherent pseudo membrane of the transferase, phalanx, and other no nasal mucosa. You can see. And along with your laboratory criteria, which is isolations of the criteria, okay. corner bacteria, bacteria from the clinic, especially, or histologically diagnosis of diphtheria, I mean, all the fibrin membrane, all this, it's maybe back to not a bit, all the pathology. All this together, okay, give you right to kind of probable loss in the case classified, you can, um, CDC usually is classified. This is a notifiable disease, this is CDC. A clinical compatible that is not laboratory confirmed, this problem, laboratory is not confirmed, and they're not epidemiology linked to your laboratory confirmed given, but epidemiology linked given, this just a problem, or okay, just a problem, okay? Problem. Now confirmed, of course, and the clinical compatible, which is going to cause other, and you're looking at the average membrane, and then this laboratory is confirmed, epidemiologically linked to the laboratory confirmed case, then it is a definite case, confirmed case, according to CDC. So now, empirical use, you should try it before it comes in it. But we have high degree of suspicion required because then it's quite unfit. High fatality, you know, if you don't if you recognize on time. So empirical treatment should generally be started in a patient who has a high okay, suspicious of this case. So empirical initiative try again. Key so how do you do it? That is this one. So we'll come afterwards, but in empirical treatment is initiated and initiated. A high degree of suspicion this patient might have what? Instead of this thing. So now the difference in diagnosis, looking at the nasal and maybe foreign body, maybe the shortest type of sanguination, the phenylase syphilis, the other pharyngitis, or radiopharyngeal abscesses, and put in diagnosis of other sorts of tensilitis, peritensilitis, infectious mononucleosis, I am in short for it, mononucleosis, Epstein Barr virus, probably by. Another is laryngitis, okay, maybe, and proofs of the different, okay, laryngitis, crew. Acute epiglottitis can be put in earlier. Differential diagnosis. Again, upper risk fragment. This is the differential diagnosis. You can master thing. Other okay, possible causes, like <coughs> conditions. So what were the complications you expect on the patient? You, know, you think this now that this is what? This area. Now what are the complications you anticipate? That's quite important. But this is related to the attribution of the toxin and the toxin related to and severe disease and then it related to the local um, extent of the, your day, okay? Extent of local disease. Okay. Local disease like severe disease and the respiratory of you locally you have the respiratory problem. No? Respiratory, or respiratory obstruction, you may go with the uh, respiratory failure and right? affected that. So in other ways, the most common distant normally is one is respiratory, you can see here on and then on the other is distant due to the toxin related and complications in myocarditis. You can see that okay, this is which scores 10 to 25 percent of the case myocarditis. Poor and if early in the first week, you see the symptoms like that myocarditis, okay, you have this near that which is myocarditis features. So the earlier you have the myocarditis, the more poor the so usually this normally after the two three weeks again. Okay? of the onset of the disease, you could have the features of the myocarditis. The patient usually dies, right? dies of this or particular complication. Distant like okay. Another is peripheral neuro neuritis as a ten paralysis. It's less somewhere eighteen percent. Which parallel sometimes parallel severity of the primary disease, okay? Multiphasic is an onset, cranial nerve, okay? Like the multiphasis. Can you know which 
Ukrainian nerves, like in, uh, you have nasal tone, okay, with prisoners, and the regurgitations. So when you swallow your right, you regurgitate, you know, maybe palate paralysis in the second weeks of the toe seizure. I look in the Ukrainian nerve, that's you know, third nerve. And the third week, toe patient may, hmm, creeping your eyes. Generalized perineal pathology is weak, okay, like in Kulin Berry syndrome, like in Kulin Berry syndrome, perineal pathology is a whole body paralyzed. And which is very bad to use and tame. So, maybe six, three to six weeks, then this is okay. This is the peripheral neuro, neuritis, late neuropathy. Renal, due to relief really complication, may be rare, but it happens and it manifests like oligoria, protein, with acid, and elephant. Was it? Okay, renal failure with the children. So now the patient, how you, how would you, okay, manage it? The patient came to you, now you have diagnosed and you have, you've got to manage it. Of course, the rule is A, B, C, you can then A, A, breathing, and then, okay, circulation, and you not really exposed, and all these other things. Basically, A, B, C is the rule. So, airway, breathing. And another is what? Now you have to neutralize the toxin. This is related to the toxin. And that the main is the cornerstone of the therapy is that another is that is neutralizations. And then you can give some you know, antibiotics for it, antibiotic to eradicate the carrier and then to sustain the toxin producing bacterial load. You know? So you can load the toxin. Another, of course, that is quite well supportive treatment and then symptomatic load. Better for the weeks. So, and then address the complications accordingly. So, ABC, okay, airway maintenance. So, antitoxin, doses of antitoxin is well. So, this is the AAP guideline and how much you antitoxin you can use for them. Bacteria, okay, sorry, the, uh, this, uh, this theory. Pharyngeal, the duration is 14 within 14 hours. You can get up to 20,000. These are gallon and AAP means American Immune Pediatrics. 40,000 units in IV, IV means a dose. And as well, you get nature fair into the Okay, fine. So it's 40 to 40. I think it's okay. 60, this is the next dose you can copy from it. Extensive, okay. Extensive, sir. But and the more than 72 hours cross, which you get, sir. X gone for. So the, you just give 80,000 high dose, okay. 80 to 120,000 units. Can be repeated. Let's see, such clinics. Clinically not improving, okay. No improvement, you can repeat it. Um, the toxin, okay. This is unbound toxin, mother. Once it's gone to the area of cell and rebound, it has nothing to do with it. But though it was a circulating, you circulation, it will just hit those, okay. Unbound toxin, antitoxin. Rest down antibiotic, yes, we can prescribe the amine, okay, okay, and pencil, GA, okay, it's like 14 days, okay, for the duration of 14 days at the dose, you can coffee 3 lakhs or 6 lakhs, you know, this is 3 lakhs or less than 10 kg, baby, or I could okay, later over 10 years, 6, 6 lakhs units per day for 20 hours, allergy to this antibiotic, like pencil, G, okay, you can get erythromycin and injection for 14 days, or whatever, you know. Erythromycin oral or injection is very rare, but oral 40 mm per kg with the okay, maximum with the two gram. Now you do the culture negative for three consecutive days with after 24 hours apartment interconjugation consecutive negatives apart from it. You can say that free of the disease. Okay. If you know it because it has no image, then you go for the vaccination center, no immunity because it is not toxinated. Like the measles, okay. So vaccination is very important after this. So this is the antibiotic I'm talking about, antitoxin, antibiotic, just lower than carried bacteria and then lower the toxin, okay, like <clears throat> decreasing the amount of what? Bacteria. So these are the antibiotic, penicillin, duration must be for two weeks, erythromycin in, in case of allergy to the penicillin, 14 days. So when you call the disease free, are the three consecutive negative, okay? 24 hours, so you can get a negative culture. Then you go for the vaccine because it is no immunity like the music, it's less life, not less measles. <coughs> so, the management or complication of the respiratory obstructions go for oxygen, tracheostomy is required to sometimes, but ventilation is okay. 
Cardi failure, like she she have my Cardi is leaving. So this is she have a Cardi, a good Cardi failure. Me, or a rich man, but the Cardi failure. So bed rest, fluid, salt, salt restriction. These are then part of the she she management. I'm just outlining this. You have to diurety, uh, deoxidizer. Okay. How to treat any she she have a common event? She she problem. So neurovesti. The palatal palsy, NG feeding is required, and it's generalized treat like a polio or maybe Guillain-Barre syndrome. Okay, GBS. So Guillain-Barre syndrome, Guillain-Barre. Anybody into face of some Okay. Anyway, how you prevent the disease? Okay, now get the patient isolated for the isolated two to two weeks. Okay, until the two samples becomes negative, and then chemoprophylaxis. You can start off only came in contact with the like the erythromycin benzene. Then the principle of one week, contact all house members. Again, those can contact. Another is those who are previously immunized, then you have to go for the booster immunizations. It's on the left of booster. Then those are not immunized, go for immunizations and primary immunizations or immunity. Primary and booster. 18 and 15 months. We don't have this schedule, but generally 18 months and five years. Again, repeat. Okay, this booster doses. Uh, we have primary like DPD, 18, 15, line M. Okay, we don't have mm -hmm. schedule. Schedule now the more than seven years is a DTP is a basically small one, a DC bin bug, okay, which highly reactive, not the regular, okay, D1. Because those less toxic one, this one, DAP, okay, TDAP, small one, regular more than seven, and more reactions have been observed. So that's why reduce the that one. Reaction. So this is what how we prevent the diphtheria. This is not often we encounter diphtheria. So you're looking at the how to uh, on the outcome. Look okay? like at the prognosis. Fatality. Fatality to risk between five to ten percent. Okay, I'll admit before is quite high. Ten percent is quite high. Five. 10. So under five is more, and then order over four. Okay, these are years or sometimes as much as twenty percent up. If you if you left the patient untreated, maybe a cardiac problem has 40 people die, so no, okay, left untreated can die. So it's, it's mandatory treat. It's even if it's... what happened? Death occurs of the five degrees respiratory diseases and the five to sixty five cardiac complications. It can also occur in the nerve damages, eventually leading to paralysis. I mentioned the pill neuropathy. So this is about the rope. Diphtheria, okay. Vagotorok, Nepali, Vagotorok. Also, in okay, now this is all about diphtheria. Now, another infection is which we are going to enter that is pertussis, okay. Pertussis, pertussis, like a manson. I just told you, huh? Okay. Titan. Lare cookie. Good. Lare <laughs> cookie. So this is the purpose. Now it's coming to another bacterial infection. Okay, this is a vaccine preventable disease or obvious. And childhood. So it is highly what? Highly okay. Hundred percent contagious respiratory infection caused by the that's highly contagious, hundred percent We are not immunized and you'll get it, no problem. Okay, you got to contact it, nice and nice, nice, Okay, few days of incubation, you will get it. So 100% high yeah, is uh, contagious. Whereas, you know that is caused by body teleprotesis. And it's sometimes called it intense cough or maybe 100 days cough. This is a prolonged cough. It takes up some two, three months. You know? Two and a half months and 100 days. Three months. So, which is characterized by catural cough, like a cough stage of and, and, and cat, okay, and which grows in the Proximal stages initially with a catarrhal and a little bit of cough, and which progress in certain time of the lab. You have the proximal, that's a pits, okay, bouts of uh, cough or something, and which is with the cough and whooping type of thing. And finally, over the certain period, and convalescence. So this is a natural course of the disease, and unless you, if you intervene, you, know, you can bring it. If you don't intervene, it's go like this, and all with complication may or may be. But for mental it is very less rate, rate okay the less in this case. The high morbidity. So now so it is known in the five fifteen hundred and again four century back five centuries. 
So it is first English physician and Hippocrates is described in 1617 a kind of term known as a intense cough. Okay, intense cough. We don't know what is caused by, caused by this, but intense cough. So then, and, and Hippocrates gave them. The first and outbreak is described in 1617. If you look at this history about it, this is so only in the 19 okay, it's all in 1906. So then 1906, this called predesmin. Okay, brought it out. Okay, now exposed. <laughs> but did the lab produces? Okay, this bacterium isolated in the 96. Then after you have something. Why is it significant? Infant children most of not when there was no vaccine. No, all the children was not 100 percent of the time. So 50 percent of the time, high morbidity and some complications. And pneumonia 80 to 25 percent. She's 4 percent. 25 will have apnea. And give a path like with one percent that what is it one percent will it so also and then one percent what is the cause about it? and that was the death on the 2020 that's a year now this because of widespread use of here we have dpt the process so when there's no it's estimated more than 60 million in in a year within 500 deaths that's possible okay 500 when there's no vaccine, okay, now the vaccine you have drastically has come down on it. It's come down. So if you have epidemiological, and how the patient, with what sources, reservoir we're talking about, the reservoir of the human adolescents, more of the adult, and there's very less, and they are not suffering as like small kid, like there may be a little bit of cough, maybe non type of, or maybe a typical sort of. So it could be the reservoir to give the small kid, you know, those were unimmunized. So Transmissions, respiratory droplets, and cough, of course, you have to <clears throat> catch it up. There's a runny noses and all that, so followed by clinical. We're going to discuss about how the clinical course would be. So, initially, there was a runny noses and also the okay, respiratory droplets. The, okay, contagious, a so contagious period like the communicability. Okay, this will remain for the maximum in the catalog and the runny noses, are, which lasts for one, two weeks. Okay, first one, two weeks. That will then, I mean, sometimes secondary attack rate up to 18 weeks because it does have a much Okay, protections and immunity, like we have some written down is three to five short, okay, it wins by then, it's nothing. So we have, this is not like long, lifelong immunity. So secondary attack, likely to have. No prolonged survival of organisms in the environment. So chronic carrier, anyone, the patient, not like the team, right? Not known yet. That's good for you. That's changing carrier right there. So how this body teller produces, like this is, Plastic use gram here, gram negative, okay, gram negative bacteria. This bacteria has certain virally components which okay, all this cleaning cell. Protesters toxic PT, which is most important, which is usually activates histamine sensitivity, okay. And then another reason, insulin secretion is high insulin that could lead to what? Hypoglycemia mm -hmm. even, but which is not often said, but hypoglycemia like leukocyte dysfunctions and boom, your leukocyte goes up. Okay, maybe something to reaching up to 40, 50,000. Okay, that is a leukomoid reaction that is this bacteria. It's a maybe old leukemia, you know, high WBC. That is because of liver cell dysfunctions leading to the PT, but it produces stocks. And also, there is filamentous hemagglutinin. Okay, which is agglutin is that attaching for that. So those are the agglutin genes and protecting these two components which are used for the you know, attachment of what get is your respiratory get you know, this membrane will attach, which helps in it. Now another we have toxin that is the tracheal toxin. Okay, that's another tracheal toxin, cytotoxins, adenoid cyclosis, bermodon necrotic, all these are this all will cause to damage to your what? Epithelial respiratory epithel, and then facilitates for the absorption of all the processes toxin. Which is in reflecting in a blurred us. So this is what I know. Better than I've mentioned about that. obscure. I don't know what I have. It's obscure. How they can use complex mechanism of symptoms. Symptom you know, symptom complex is quite obscure. You can inhale it in your body of the bacteria. Okay, going into your respiratory tract and the attachment of what mentioned about all these filamentous emigration which is a protecting of the outlutins and that's a good deal multiply there now secrets the toxins a and b which paralyzes 
Okay, there's a component also A and B, which paralyzes, okay? If you paralyze your C and inflammation, okay? their drainage function is now gone, okay? The C is the C. And inflammations, and then there are some toxin that you raise some, these are the tracheal toxins, cytolactic them. This will be damaged, and then you slough off, and then you, what will happen? Edema or the, that is inflammation. And there will be the pulmonary clearings will be deranged. This is the plugging of ultimate ligament, plugging of your bronze, okay? This is here. So the plugging here, and maybe this reversibility function is not disturbed. This is pathology, okay, pathology. Attachment, your toxin A and B, which is paralysis and toxin necrosis. So this is how, you know, okay, how does the patient, and this disease, the course of the disease, usually once you get, you know, you should have, you know, what? Incubation period of any infections like supported 10 minutes to the maximum of three weeks, but you can take up to the history of the up to three weeks and you, know? you have contact history, you can say seven to fourteen days in, gen in general. But of course, you go you have to explore up to three weeks. Mm -hmm. You have been in contact with the three weeks, last three weeks, any disease like you suspect in the coffin. Contagious remains for the two weeks I've also mentioned prior and up to two weeks after the symptoms begin. That is the onset of your symptoms, huh? it, two weeks is quite Contagious, okay. Don't come in contact with this patient. Or prior to prior to two weeks, it's difficult to, unless there is any signs and symptoms. It's difficult to predict. Huh? So anyway, contagious remains two weeks prior and then up to two weeks after the symptom. Insidious onset, okay. And this usually on insidious also not acute. Only it's gradually, gradually, okay. It goes into your phases. Uh, it progresses and similar to a minor or spirit attack initially. I don't know, virus is a little bit of not much fever, but coffee, okay? Brandy noses, infection with non specific cough throat, right? Fever usually minimal and throughout the course of this, non specific like fever, like an hour, only two or three and four, like laxity. This is in general, okay? This the disease course. Now, there are certain period, and if you classically, you would, if you would look at how the, the course, this is prolonged disease, hence it is classically, between it's a prolonged disease, okay? It's in a classic form. This cateral phase, okay, that's which lasts for one to two weeks, highly contagious period, which is now after that, and then natural course. And the paroxysmal stage of the patient, and move on to the next stage, that's paroxysmal stage, which will last for two This is a period, a bit difficult period for the patient. Okay, and then, of course, now you are, are you have enough, or you, are, you fought well enough, <laughs> or you have been intervened in this. And you come in convalescent period, which is two again less than four to four. So, so well, that's 100 days somewhere, you know, for long cough. The diseases for those and you know, those who are not immunized, they suffer a lot in the long back and it's small, it's small, 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 small infants. So, again, so, so, cattle says how they will present that's why you die because a clinician must know that how the disease present to you. The first step is the focus and protosis. This is that you can graphically can. So one to the weeks, not just for initially, and one to two weeks. This is the first cateral period, isn't it? Bugging, you know? Runny nose is another cateral. And again, have symptoms may runny nose, low girth, and not very high smile, this big is not very big, sick looking also, occasional you know, cough, occasional cough. This period is not quite contagious. You or she may transmit. So be very careful. So don't stay. <clears throat> Maintain the distance. So now the another way is what? Now, oh, okay, this runs for, for one or two weeks. Hmm? Then followed by the patient. Now suddenly there is a paroxysmal stage in the clinic. And now it's lasting for one, two, six, two, two, six, four, six weeks. This is a characteristic by how? The numerous in you know, bouts of cough. All of a sudden, you know, paroxysm, you don't know, you don't know, you cannot predict that. I'm going to. So this is paroxysm, you know. But some numerous and successful norms of this one, like that. <laughs> Then you go with that patient, the baby coughs like that, you know? Continuously coughs, and then within, this is about a, Now at the end, the baby, that's it. breathing. Coughing is an expiration, you know? You are an experience, continuously, <laughs> not breathing. <laughs> then suddenly, the hoops was followed, the hoop that way. And that's a breathing. Okay, that's it. <laughs> then we get some sound, that is a hooping cough. That's why this is gonna 
होपिंग कफिन होना प्रोटेस्टर्स इन जेनरल इंग्लिश वर्ड में इंग्लिश को जेनरल लेटर में के होपिंग कफ दैट्स हाउ द ओके होपिंग कफ ओके दैट्स जेनरल टर्म में होपिंग कफ वैक्सीनेशन प्रोटेस्टर्स नाम हम टर्म हो क्या क्लिन सो द होप दैट्स द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द एंड देन फॉर द वॉमिटिंग ओके एंड देन मेबी यू सम Tenacious life of what is drooling, saliva, and all this. The babies look in a baby. This baby is intense. You can type in you know, Google or maybe in YouTube. You see the how the uh, uh, portrait of baby, you know, cough. It's a very terrible one. You look at it. It's not that. If you like your cough, <laughs> and you have rest again, <laughs> what will happen? Can't breathe. You know your circulation. What look? That's why the blue. What do you think? Does the baby is getting? That's the blue look. Now these will in conditions. No, no, your blood cannot come down. And the thoracic pressure goes up, isn't it? So, <laughs> so venous return is impaired. And so that's the look. The blue look you right. Subcondylar hemorrhage. Why? All this because of venous drainage. Okay, conditions are not perfect. Maybe we take it sometimes. So this could be seen, and then you could have what? Frenulum in there, ma. Okay, answer. Little bit of baby. Okay, there's a subcondylar hemorrhage. Patient can have third line. Okay, I'm talking. Subcondylar hemorrhage is patient can have perfect body. Sometimes this all because of condition of your venous drainage. Okay, because thoracic is tight. So it cannot come down. So this is what now. How there is? Is it classical to your all small infant? Will they have a clinical presence like this? ABC. Okay, that is. Catarrhal, paroxysmal, and convulsive period will they be there? Sorry, no. I'm, I'm sorry, but something. Yeah. Then this period lasts, but this is a complication on the yes, this period. Okay. And followed by next, this is the third convalescence. Okay. They move into the to the next third stage that is convalescence. Okay. Recovering slowly up. Which last words again to the susceptible to other respiratory infections, like or co infection, or so overlapping such. Okay. That's so recovery is that was very gradual. Coughing that in proximal on attack of the cough, which is lessens, but fits of coughing may again reappear. Okay, that's not that intense though. Okay, and during the your proximal phases, so it's lessen and bouts are going on slowly. It may so this prolonged cough baby cannot feed and that's complication. No? Now let's explain what. Else. So how the if every baby will you know children will have this classical no infants last three months two months they will it's not symptom like the classical sign that change stages of life maybe up and down okay one two two pila is done so that could be enough so this baby has a high morbidity and right? complications paradox loud cough and hope in third stage this of classical form you know, not so good stages wise adolescence and adult symptom may be mild you know just go walk around okay they are quite dangerous to come the small on Unimmunized baby, like it's right. Okay, now adolescent and adult symptom may be asymptomatic to the mild classic, but high incidence and the source of the infection is up. You know, from the epidemiological point of view, shorten of course if you immunize, if you get the vaccine, this is very all this stage of aborting and shorten again. Now, so that is what I just would like to mention about the infection because same answer the small lead and thing may you may okay you may not get the C P C. Okay, that is the new catarrhal phases that we are waiting for. So you have to take the proper history of the suffering, and you will come. This you have to take into consideration uh, before you put the, the diagnosis. So what would the complication you expect from this patient? Okay, respiratory, of course, pneumonia is a com complication. This is another complication. So O A M A O M. Sorry, acute tightness media and atelectasis and emphysema. These are the new most frequent. <laughs> Series of the during that is during the proximal period, the more likely to have this pneumonia. Oh, okay, pneumonia is there. And there is neurological because of congestion may be seizure. Your oh, brain may. And then the strain is okay. Hypoxic, incapable, but it's very but one to two percent. If we take as I mentioned about maybe retinal or subcutaneous hemorrhages, sometimes the rare occasions intracranial hemorrhages, <laughs> coughing, and there's no gap. You know? In success, and another patient, and you experience, and you will be different. Whispers system will be 
theology will be complete abnormal. <laughs> so, other like the name because of that is inguinal hernia, it's a pressure, abdominal pressure, may have chitralapsis, may have those of tendons. And <coughs> it's not a shock, they continue to prolong. Malnutrition for the patient when unland of the malnutrition because two months of Khalis again came. It's long a period. The prophet is not proper, the baby is not proper, and, and take the food. And then, of course, you have, and then, likely to flare off your tuberculosis. You're weak. Weak, no? So, this is about the complication we anticipate. So, diagnosis. Of course, this is an, a clinical, a very important clinical suspicion, is predominant. How, even? Complain of cough, a bit fever, much, you know, not much for, without fever or like. And what are they? Signs in general, low respiratory factors, okay? Learn with them. Clinically, you have to cough without any, without fever, signs in general, low respiratory may crackles, and unless it is complicated, start with some pneumonia. Well. Otherwise, there is no LRD, a picture of low respiratory okay? I think the signs I know. And then you have the fever, and cough, you know, rashes, there's nothing like that. But cough will be dominant initially. You know, think of any and the cough patterns in the body. Like personally, where it's very difficult. You know, any virus could give like okay, or virus, bacteria, or the bacteria. But when it's proximal, I think typically you know, prolonged. You know. <coughs> so this is what first sign you know, clinical. In classical phases or some history or the lineal body. Okay, you have to have you know, epidemiology history, immunization history, proper section. So likely. So. If you like send it the uh, CBC of okay, complete.com, mark, I have mentioned about the dis leukocyte, and the leukocyte dysfunction, like the leukocytosis. Even going up in ESF, high, low risk, of, low ESRB, high, leukocyte, leukocyte, I have mentioned that not usually that's why other the bees are well, 18,000 up to leukocyte, but it may go into 40,000, 40, 50,000, but sometimes it's leukocyte. That's quite very characteristics in direct mark. So, blood culture is, of course, then you have the even so, so, what on you want is border jangu, you know, border jangu, you know, the media. During catarrhal infection, you can take then so and then this is a gold standard if you want to prove it at the 32. This is okay. Rapid test, there are direct, okay, test, sorry, rapid test, direct immune forensic antibody, okay, uh, antibody, or maybe uh, immune electrophoresis, which are really not available with okay. And PCR, if you want to confirm the bacteria, but body in going, your culture is fine. No. So, diagnosis. Rapid, you, can, you have to write that these are the methods you can use. But what is the body in going to go there? So, difference in diagnosis, other virus are parapertosis, and the difference is the parapertosis causing the same type of cough, not much fever, and white fever. Bronchiceptis here, okay, septica, sorry. Then, Adenovirus 1 and 2, 3, 5, that's a different sorts of adenovirus, influenza, maybe. The, you know, so that's the difference of diagnosis of the difference of you know, influenza, the mycoplasm, chlamydia, okay, staccato, uh, breathe. So, so that is chlamydia, as usually breathing, and uh, breathe every you know, cough. It's a cough, it's a very typical staccato, <laughs> like this. Staccato, no? the sound, sound. So, Foreign body history take the inhalations and then they look for them. For you know, can this have history also? Tuberculosis is just an endobronchial, okay, endobronchial tuberculosis. May some like it's like coughing, irritating, and you know, you're coughing. You run. And another is reactive airway to children. We call it small and five years old below. We just level, don't as level is an asthmatic patient, but reactive airway disease, which is prevalent to them. Childhood asthma, okay. So, reactive airway disease is a coughing, mm -hmm. <laughs> but there are different scenario history, or maybe your findings are different. Which is so clinically, you have to differentiate. So, this is about what pertussis and differential diagnosis uh, are placed in. Now, how you tackle that and how you handle the patient. Of course, this is first support management is very essential. So, okay, educate fully to expect the non nutrition and nourishment like the nutrition like the avoid and avoid cough exuberance or usually don't. It's not good for them. And then you can give a little comfortable. You can be agonist that is in salvitamol. Okay, you can use your own nebulization support. Then they cause the resistance to be removed. That's causing the 
what this antibiotic can to macro light with usually. Erythromycin, okay, duration is very important, but two weeks again, prescribe for. Erythromycin drug of choice, okay, link. And then neonate, or listen, there's a small infant, small infant came to you, erythromycin, not good, okay, it's very good. Okay, carrier does decrease not illness duration. So carrier or decrease well, okay, this is other not the disease. Bacteria, which ones and it's this is other related to okay, toxin and this toxin related. And that's something mechanism the toxin there is so practically doesn't so you again you decrease the okay, carrier of this bacteria and with the help of this antibiotic not the toxin and, so, and as well as toxin. Okay. So 14 days. Cough suppression and testament is better not to give, okay? Avoid. So um, these are the treatment, okay, pattern, okay, how you support that patient, okay, handle. So, of course, now you've got to what? You have to prevent it. Suppose you have no, not immunized, you have got to go for immunized, or if you're not in booster doses, which is available, then booster dose for one and five, and one and five years, and a total of five doses, okay, one, six, nine, six, ten, ten, which we usually would have. 14 months and then booster you can go up from one year and then five years also and that's total of this five you can do two more and add it up this is preventive chemo prophylaxis mm -hmm. okay that's irrespective of sinus symptoms these are the drugs again prescribed for that okay sign of a vaccine you give them erythromycin and azithromycin azithromycin why small kid i, I mentioned about it don't give any neonate vinegar in erythromycin sometimes will have pyloric stenosis Functional type, so we don't give it as an age to match you can check for the small kid like neonate when even okay, infant small 45 days or then neonate as a 30 days huh? or 20 newborn. So, as a is you can take not eight of my these are the two five seven days, two weeks or five days or seven days. This is duration, so I mentioned okay, so there mentioning so less than seven years of booster vaccine is you can go for the vaccination of the DPT. Okay, with those are incomplete and the incomplete and maybe the vaccines after five days of antibiotic, they will prescribe the patient and they have taken five days of antibiotic and maybe allow and you have allowed them to go to for work for an appropriate antibiotic treatment. I think school work can 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 they go for school unless the patient is sick because can trans and what you have to avoid what the duration and that is the contagious period should be avoided. That is one or two, first two, and a catarrhal, and then maybe some proximal phases also. Maybe these are the period like, Pow! and then five days into my day, this period is gone, and maybe five days get and I'll get the subic part also development. All this manipulated, manipulated in class. That course may be changed no? because you have intervened with the antibiotic. So, you take the five days of antibiotics, can be attended school or work for the appropriate antibiotic treatment. So, this is how you, know, you handle your. Uh, your Protestus, Lauri Hoki. Lauri Hoki, okay? This is. You go and type in, in Google or maybe YouTube, we see how does the baby. This is very easy because you can you know, spot you the diagnosis. I mean, this is this is what the whooping cough is. Really, you see that what is the whooping cough? Lauri Kinam and why this intense cough? So you got to see because I'm trying to make, I'm just trying to make this one that clinic which just minimize the line, but which not, you can see in your YouTube. You will be clear. So I think this is how we end. I think. Do you have any queries? And then if you don't have, then I'll be signing off. Thank you.